going on to all of my uh, Libras out there. So let's get into it. All right, let's get into it for you Libras. So, uh, so for you Libras, I have the Six of Swords. I have the the Devil, the Chariot. Okay, the Ace of Wands. That's interesting. The King of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune. A lot of Cancer energy in this. Capricorn too. Okay, then you have the Seven of Cups. The Ten of Swords, you have the Five of Wands, you have the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so some of you Libras may have someone coming in or someone that you already know that somehow you end up hooking up with, linking up with. Two of y'all ended up, uh, you know, clicking and... Could have, could even have been a friend, could have been somebody new, but this person turned out to be extremely lustful. You and this person essentially got it on and it was good. <laughs> and a lot of you, uh, Libras very much so enjoyed it. Don't let Libra fool you into thinking, you know, Libras, don't fool yourselves into thinking that that's not something that you like. Oh, y'all like it, you know, especially if the person knows how to get at you from the mental perspective, then they can touch your heart and then they can touch other places. But the situation with that is it was good. A lot of you Libras liked it. Um, the chariot, however, represents how a lot of you Libras, though, may be a little bit hesitant to move this relationship forward because of how fast things went, right? So a lot of you Libras are like, you don't necessarily want things to go so, so fast because remember the two of y'all just enjoyed each other, so to speak. Um, and you Libras don't want to scare these, these people off. And what I mean when I say scare them off, I don't mean like, you know, um, I mean it from the perspective of a lot of people are, are very much so afraid to be in relationships now. You know what I mean? You know, they, they run after they get what it is that they uh, want. They're track stars, right? They, they do a lot of running. So when it comes to, you know, when it comes to um, you trying to get to know this person, you already know what time it is. You Libras already know not to really get too attached because it's not that you don't want to, but because of the nature of how the two of you ended up linking up. It was fast. So the Ace of Wands, right, represents um, this person kind of, it's it's the same thing with this person where this person is kind of like, they, they are unsure as to what position they should take to, whether they should call you or whether they should you know, try to hang out with you on that romantic level from now on, if they should try. The King of Pentacles is, is that um, you Libras need to figure it out for yourselves, though. The King of Pentacles isn't just the money person, right? Right. The King of Pentacles also represents a decisive individual who is very much so um, steadfast in their decision. And I should say steadfast in being, in being, excuse me, intimidated or not staying the course. The King of Pentacles represents a person who can make a decision and can see something go far enough with, with the approach to see what value it has in it, if there's any value to be gained at all. So the King of Pentacles, right, in the playing card suit, the King of Pentacles would be the King of Diamonds, right? And diamonds are some of the hardest uh, substance on earth, right? Some of the hardest substance on earth. But as a result of that now, um, you, you, you know, the King of Pentacles, this very much so speaks to how you need to be right now. When it comes to yourself and these people, you don't need to be like this, you know, only, only from the perspective of, you know, that perspective, where it's getting that kind of way 
if you catch my drift, then that's cool. As long as this person doesn't overstep any kind of boundaries with you or they, you don't overstep any boundaries with them. But when it comes to the relationship aspect, then you need to be much more focused on what exactly is important and make sure that you have a better understanding of what you want. If you know you don't want to be in a relationship, keep it just like the way that it is. If you do want a relationship, particularly with this person, then it's time for you to say that this that's what you want. Because if you don't say that, what, what and then, then you have the Wheel of Fortune. Because if you don't say that, which is kind of the continuation of the King of Pentacles, because the Devil card and the Chariot right? The devil represents Capricorn. The chariot represents Cancer Crabs, right? <laughs> and it's ironic because the king of pentacles represent Capricorn and Taurus, right? And the wheel of fortune represents Cancer. So a lot of this influence of this dynamic of time and patience and the need for time and patience, right? Maybe, maybe having the mentality that, you know, you would be better off just being that type of that type of situation ship would be better off for you but you Libras really have to ask yourselves if that's something that you really want and it'll be up to you but the wheel of fortune represents you need to start making that decision with this person that things ended up uh going well with so far what do you want, right? Because there's benefits and there's drawbacks to everything. If you want this person as a situation ship, then this person is good for that. This person is good for, you know, this, you know, that <laughs> that person is good for you know what. But at the same time, don't expect this person, don't ever expect this person to be in to do relationship type things, take you out to eat ask you questions about your past otherwise you're going to make it other otherwise it's going to go into another area where that's not what you agreed upon you're trying to make it into a relationship right so just like just like this there's benefits and there's downsides to being in a relationship with a being in a relationship you do have that higher level of connectivity or that i should say that deeper level of connectivity knowing the birthdays, being on, you know what I mean? <laughs> being over at, at the other person's family for Thanksgiving and Christmas and all that type of stuff, all of that type of stuff, you know, meeting the family, both people meeting their families if they have some still around. Um, but the drawback is, is that sometimes when you're in a relationship, when the two of y'all are on each other's nerves, how do y'all plan on going about handling that, right? Can the two of you actually figure out what is a constructive way to where the two of you can both get what you want or respectfully agree to disagree and continue on with the course of the relationship? And this is just one of those things in a row where the two of y'all are gonna respect each other's boundaries to not agree. It'll be up to you to make that decision though, Libra. The Seven of Pentacles, excuse me, the Seven of Cups represents some of you Libras may decide that you have way too many options and that you're not going to worry yourselves up about it. So what are you going to do? The Ten of Wands, right? The Five of Wands, excuse me, the Ten of Swords, right? The Five of Wands, the Five of Pentacles. You're going to move forward with this because a lot of you think, a, a, a lot of you Libras are thinking that, you know, this, this, trying to be in a relationship with this person especially since the 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 intimacy was accelerated if you catch my drift i'm y'all libras are smart i'm pretty sure y'all figure it out but the point is is that um a lot of you libras may try to ask these people if that's what it is that they want but you but the five of pentacles represents you doubt that you know they'll actually tell you yeah so i'm just seeing how you Libras want, you you Libras are ready for whatever, where, you know, you'll ask this person, you know, just put yourself out there. Do you want to hang out with me? What's going on? But then you, but some of you may think that this person may be like, nah, they're not going to do it. Do, they're not going to want to be in a relationship with you, even if you ask. So maybe you should leave. But this could also represent you putting yourself out there like that and asking them, you know, 
if if the two of you can start dating and if that's something that they want and they really do be like nah i'm good i think we should just keep it as situationships and you decide to say okay i'm not even going to hang around you because i put myself out there and it's going to be you know this isn't necessarily what i want so it's up to you it's up to you libras to decide what y'all want you know what i mean um Let's clarify the Seven of Cups. Excuse me, uh, Wheel of Fortune. Let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Hope y'all have a great day, by the way. So you have the Four of Swords, the Fool, Three of Pentacles, and the Judgment. To clarify the Wheel of Fortune. So... The four, of, the four of swords and the fool, right? It speaks to how um, you Libras really take you really you Libras really took um, trying to talk to these people seriously. A lot of you Libras, you know, really do want to be in a relationship with somebody, and a lot of you Libras are like, well, since the two of y'all ended up doing what y'all did and ha and having so much fun. You already did it. Uh, you might as well get to know them. You know, you might as well get to know them even deeper. And um, the fool now represents how, you know, a lot of you Libras are will really willing to put yourselves out there looking like the fool, which is good because that's how you get what you want is innocence. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um I still have to make a video talking about ego, right? Because because ego is a success, a success stopper. Ego is a very big su a success stopper. But you put yourself out there, right? You, you you know you put yourself out there. You wanted to put yourself out there. You did put yourself out there, and good on you. You know you should put yourself out there and make yourself into a fool because the fool is actually the most powerful tarot in the entire <laughs> tarot deck um and they put themselves out there these are the types of people that you would think are not really that bright and are delusional when in actuality for those people who are fools themselves and, and they run their own universe they run their own corner of the universe they've learned to understand these concepts and they have that same type of power within them because it is a power nonetheless too don't let anybody fool you they will praise that type of mentality and behavior putting themselves out there like that because they understand that's how they get what they want but the three of pentacles and the judgment represents um and and but you're ready to kind of put this situation ship on ice in its entirety in entirety and you don't want to be in a friends with uh, benefit situation with them anymore you don't want to do that anymore what you want is you know that you want uh, a relationship for real a monogamous one a lot of y'all and you know that in order for you to go about getting it you have to actually put you have to actually want it you have to actually seek it you have to actually go for it so the seven of cups now Let's clarify the seven of cups. So, so to clarify, you have the nine of wands, ten of wands, king of cups, and you have the king of pentacles, which you already have. So yet again, um, the king of pentacles, again, there's a need to be very patient and very sure in what your decision-making process is. Now, the Seven of Cups, the Seven of Cups means having some options or having people that, that say that they want to hang out with you. So it's not to say that you Geminis are completely without anybody. You Geminis do have people who are interested in you, but it's a matter of these people need, this person, people collectively, needs to be very direct about what they want. And if they just want to be in a situation ship, then that's exactly what it's going to be. And you're going to leave it as such. No harm, no foul. But the, the Nine of Wands and the Ten of Wands is 
um, you already saw certain flags about them or red flags about them. That's not good. And a lot of you are going to, you know, stay, stay away because you know what time it is. They, they, that's not what they want. And then the king of cups is, is that you're not going to be hurt. You're not going to be mad. You just basically just need to ask them, right? You just need to ask these people just so that you can get a record of their words and their actions because too many actions, people don't know what's going on. Too many words, people don't know what's going on, right? Because because you could be a slick talker and depending on how good you are, right? You can lie yourself out of a situation depending on how good you are, right? Or if not, manipulate the truth, right? To to manipulate the other person. But at the same time, if you if you bring together words and actions and time, now you've got yourself a beautiful rest a recipe for being able to be trusted. So a lot of you Gemini's have Gemini, sorry, I'm tired. A lot of you Libras have deemed that these people are obviously not worth being trusted. So I, I see you Gemini. I see you Libras. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. But I see you you Libras deciding to leave them alone and getting right out of Dodge because you already know where this is going to go, right? The relationship or whatever it is, the situationship between yourself, it has no uh, forward meaning. There's no uh, long-term um, intention. It's, it was just a one thing, a one, one and done thing. And um, you shouldn't necessarily take it to heart. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. Um, I will say this though, I'm trying to get my YouTube channel to 3,500 subscribers by the end of January. As of right now, I'm at 3,154 subscribers. So please uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell and set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop these videos. Peace.